Okay, so today we're going to be wiring up the famous standard UK 13 amp rewirable plug. Very special this plug because it's, as far as I'm aware it's the only plug in the world that has a fuse. So it's good old England, nice and safe. Nice and easy plug to wire up. When you buy a, a rewirable UK plug they'll come with a little cardboard insert that goes over the pins showing you the exact lengths to strip the inner, cord, the, uh, inner cables to so you can't really go wrong with this. So tools for the job I'm going to need a posi screwdriver which I've put down somewhere which is here. Oh, by the way this is our part, there's various different part numbers, we have various different part numbers for this plug because we do it in 3, 5, 10 and 13 amp white and black so there's a different part number for each one of those but you can find them all on our website mcc-cables.com ok so let's uh, start by opening the plug, this is an easy wire plug by the way so it's nice and quick to wire up the reason why it's called an easy wire plug is because it doesn't come with the standard screw down strain relief it's basically a one way ratchet type system where the cable goes in and then it clamps shut if you try and pull the cable out. Okay, so let's undo these uh, inner terminals. This is a 13 amp plug, which is one we sell most of. This is our part number STK134, but as I said, there's a different part number for every UK plug we do with a different fuse in different colours. And also we have a different part number for easy wire and different part number for standard which would have a strain relief across it. Okay, so referring to my cardboard cutout, you can see the cable links I need to strip it to. So if I just hold it up to the camera, you should be able to see that there. So we can see the earth needs to be stripped 45mm. So we'll start with that one first. Let me get a bit of cable. So the longest, so obviously I'm going to need to strip the outer sheath to 45 mil because that's the longest, longest strip I'm going to need to do. So I'm going to take a vernier here, but you can just use obviously a, a standard tape measure or anything, and I just take my vernier and just mark the cable like that, so I can see quite clearly. I take my outer sheath strippers, set the blade so it doesn't cut too deep into the outer PVC because obviously you don't want to cut the inner cores exposing copper cable and just pinch her in and then just one turn don't go round and round otherwise you will strip the inner core and this is PVC cable so it should just snap nice and easy like that like so get rid of that okay I'll do all my stripping in one go so the inner the uh, brown needs to be stripped 20 mil I'll take my vernier. I've wired up so many of these I can pretty much do it by eye, but I recommend you know you use a tape measure. That's 20mm and the neutral is 25mm. So just to refresh everyone's memory, earth is always yellow and green, brown is your live, neutral is blue. Okay, 25 mil. So you can just use a tape measure, like so. Incidentally, if you're looking at these in a, uh, these cable strippers and wondering where you can get them from, if you go on our website you'll, and look under tools, you'll find them there. Very handy pieces of kit to have. We use these in our workshops, so they're professional grade. Cable strippers. They, you know, I've, I've stripped probably hundred thousand cables with these, so they're very good. Even just around the house, and once you buy them, they'll pretty much last you forever. If ever you need to wire up UK plug or any other piece of cable, just very handy to have, or even good on automotive cabling. So I've stripped, by the way, the copper cores back six mil, as it says on the inner on the um, cardboard now on the little diagram. Okay, always twists the ends up nicely, nice and neat, so you don't get any cables splaying out. We'll start with the earth, insert the earth, like so. Make sure you push it right in so you don't have any cable sticking out like that. 
this is no exposed cable obviously make sure you don't push it so far in that when you screw when you do the screw up it's going to be clamping down on the PVC you want it clamping down on just the copper you, we uh, live like so live always goes into the fused end just do them up just nip them up don't go mad don't do them up too tight and then curl round your neutral sometimes I like to just slip the neutral out raise it up a little bit so I can get it in there easily and I'll hold that out I'm holding it I'm holding it there like that so I can so it doesn't so I can just nip her up like so then I'll reinsert that and then tight, tighten that up properly so there we have it nice and neat that's stripped according to the little diagram you receive with every UK rewirable UK plug you buy then to insert this I start by pulling pulling back fairly, not too firmly so you're pulling it out of the terminals and then pushing it through and pushing just pushing in like that like so so that way when you pull back as you can see the strain release come into effect stop the pulling right out now tuck the cables in nice and neatly and there you have it place your lid and drop the screw there you have it okay UK plug as I said in uh, other videos we've done all our fact sheets can be found on our website so if you go onto our website and type in the STK number for example STK134 which is this part number it'll come up with a fact sheet and it'll come up with the various different strippings you need to do to wire up this plug. Okay.